guys, Leon SPD, I'm playing Call to Arms. It is uh, basically Men of War, Men of War Assault Squad 2, but in a more modern version. Uh, right now I'm trying to figure out how to assault these positions without uh, getting my getting my guys killed, because the enemy kind of has a better, better deal out of everything that's going on now. Like now, they're all in contact. Get the squad leader in. And this guy. Yep. Let's see if I can get him up there. I did lose a soldier. This is where you call in the assault squad to come weed them out. And get on their flank. try to flush them out or at least try to distract them for the assault squad to move in place let me heal up the assault squad to get the flank on them see if we can get higher ground off these guys this game is not easy at all even with normal with AI on normal come on you gotta finish healing I think they're moving back. I think they know they got flanked. In which case Oh crap. I didn't see that coming. Oh gosh, that was bad. Seen two of you down. back. Let's get a Humvee out here to help us out. Or maybe we can get an M2 Humvee. Alright, so we're taking a point. We're already 20 points down out of 100. And we got to do this pretty fast. So the Humvee is going to show face right about right there. Looks like the enemy is trying to gain that third point out there. So probably where they moved all their men to. So they got like a first person mode thing going here. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Go ahead, combine these squads. There's two squads, squad leaders in the squad, so I don't know how how well that works out. Actually, I think the other squad leader died, so that works. What's his name? Leroy Rogers. All right, so we capped one. We're gonna continue to gain points from that one and get these guys to move up with the support of the Humvee. So, uh, next place we'll move them to is here. Go ahead and move the Humvee up first. Obviously, Humvee is better armored. The Humvee showing face. Alright. 
that taken care of. Uh, I don't want to move them in there right now. I'll use an assault squad to come in and weed them out. These guys would probably be walking. Gotta cap these objectives pretty quick. Alright, so. Just waiting for a grenade to blow up. In this game, it's very, very common for, uh, I didn't see that happening. That's why you don't leave a point undefended. It's very likely that somebody will try to come and take your point. Sound like an RPG. We gotta try to press in on. Some kind of way. Just capped our point and there we're losing right now. Alright, so we just capped the middle point. I'm gonna leave that squad over there to take care of that one. Alright, so at this rate we're already in we're already behind the game. So uh, we're gonna move and cap the third point. Look at that Humvee go. Don't get hit. So, you always want to have um, infantry moving up with your Vic so it doesn't get ambushed. Vehicle seems to be doing fine. As long as we're holding all three points, I think we should be good. These guys uh, move top side. Ooh, what's that? All right, so this is a game changer right now. So we got a vehicle. We'd have higher ground. Oh no, that's a rocket. That's not an MG. So there's no telling what uh Ooh, go wrong guys. We'll try to eliminate it as fast as we can. Ooh. I don't know what happened. But uh anyway we do have an enemy Vic there as you saw earlier, so I'm gonna be moving those troops in play. CP is 50. I thought I set it to 100. That's why I can't call anything else in. <sighs> the Humvee kind of made sure of that. As soon as I can get that Vic taken care of, or at least get that gunner down, I'm going to move the Humvee down to support these guys on the ground. Oh, crap. I wish I had a machine gunner, but since I don't, I have to try.
try to focus on this guy here. Meanwhile, throw a grenade. That should get rid of that. Now the Humvee can show face. Unfortunately, there's no medics in this game yet. Get the Humvee to come down this way. Whoa. That one, one of those squad members is still alive, which is why I can't call anybody else in. Sorry to say, but he kind of has to die. Alright, so now I can call in uh, at least Marines. Marines are kind of better than the uh, standard infantry. Meanwhile, while that's happening. Come on, Marines, come on. Alright, so we're catching back up in the game. Oh, he's reloading, that's why he's not shooting. Let's see if we can. Didn't want the whole squad to move, but. Keep the MG in the back. Everybody else looks like they're doing pretty good. Um, these guys are holding it down pretty well. Getting attacked here on the left side. So we're at 25 out of 100, we've just taken all the points away from the enemy, and now we wait. I honestly don't think that the enemy is capable of attacking, we just capped all the points. And so now I'm going to drive the Humvee and see if I can go wreck somebody's day. see I'm getting points rather quickly. I think I did ruin somebody's day. One thing I don't like about these Humvees is when they're, uh, oh, I didn't know that. Only got a. Everybody else died. So I'm literally the only person in this vehicle who's manning both the driver and the gunner seat. That's pretty cool. But one of the things I don't like is when, like, for instance, if I do that, he only turns the gun that way. He drives to the location but only turns the gun that way. I need the whole Vic turn that way. Tanks do that in Men of War. Um. And the reason I don't like it is because if somebody fires an RPG. Come on. Come on. Keep firing. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh, that's not good. And that's not gone either. They have to actually destroy that. 
which means I'm sending one of you guys on a mission. As soon as you eliminate that enemy squad. That's a squad leader. Nope, nope, not all three of you. Just you. Alright. Just hope he doesn't get flanked. I know there were some enemies over here earlier. And he doesn't even have a grenade. So, you have one. With the covering fire. You can see how uh, sheer numbers affect the uh, the game. There we go. Got that taken care of. Should be able to spawn something. Yep. Oh, there we go. Game one. Uh, now that was kind of a easy game. You can see that I had it on normal, but normally, normally they wouldn't be that easy. They were quite difficult in the beginning because I started kind of late uh, trying to get the recording to start, but other than that, that wasn't that bad. Alright guys, this has been Leon and SPD. I'll see you later.